Hi guys, it's Mel. Welcome to my channel. I am Midlife and I have a crisis. On today's video we will be unboxing this. If you can see. This is the Colourpop Keep It Classified Mystery Box. This box was released on the 28th of June. I got an email from Colourpop to say what's inside the mystery box. And I spent that day adding it to my cart and unadding it and re adding it, thinking I don't need this. Um, but then I was like, well, I've never had a mystery box, so why not? And I can unbox it on my channel. This was sent to me on the 1st of July. Colourpop had managed to fulfill their orders and send it. Being that I live in New Zealand, it has spent the last almost three weeks in circulation getting to me. So I have been very cautious of what I've seen on YouTube, trying not to get any uh, sneaky people going what's inside the box. I didn't want any spoilers, I wanted to keep this video authentic, so you're seeing my reaction as I'm opening it. I have no idea what is inside this box. As I said, it is the Colourpop Keep It Classified. Um, it is apparently filled with makeup and skin care faves you need ASAP. There is meant to be 14 items inside this box. Um, on the Colourpop website they had it for $49 with a $145 value. That is US dollars. Being that I am in New Zealand, that trans that converted to $80.10 New Zealand. Um, Colourpop does also have, at the moment, it's free shipping over $98.63. That, of course, changes slightly depending on the New Zealand dollar. But as it stands on their website at the moment, $98.63 NZD for free shipping. So at $80.10, this didn't quite qualify for the free international shipping. So I did also buy one more item just to boost it up, um, which hopefully is inside this box too. So um, that item was uh, $8.40 USD. I bought it when there was 30% off the Colourpop website. So $8.40, it converted to $13.72 NZD. Um, so my total spent was $109.27. New Zealand. So that's for the Keep It Classified Mystery Box and the other thing that hopefully is inside. So I've gone ahead with some scissors and I've undone the tape. So this is all ready to go. So let's jump in and see whether this is worth the $109.27 that I've spent or for the Keep It Classified for the Mystery Box alone, as I said, was $80.10. Is it worth it? Let's see. So, here's what it looks like on the inside. Peel back the bubble wrap. And the first thing I see, which I'm going to grab out, is not included in the mystery box. As I said, I paid an extra $13.72 New Zealand or $8.40 USD because Colourpop did have 30% uh, off. Sorry. So this would normally be uh, 14 USD. It is the Costa Coral 9 Pan Palette. So let's open the box, have a look what it's like on the inside. So nice um, texture on the packaging. It looks like a beautiful flower, coral coloured, I think it's flower, I don't know what, I guess coral would be the colour, I don't know where the coast has come from. So on the inside you've got some really pretty really nice colours here. There's the lights, mediums, darks. We have four mattes and five shimmers, although this could be a matte with shimmer. This one here, which is Keep Swimming. So Coast Coral, really happy with that. I do think this is worth the $13.72 New Zealand. This is a nice palette. Right, so that's that out of the way. Let's now get into this mystery box. Um, as I say, this box is pretty full. You get a look. As I say, a lot of you probably know what is in this box. As I said, I've spent almost the last like two and a half, three weeks being really careful what I've been watching on YouTube. Didn't want any spoilers. You guys probably know what's in here. I don't. So let's dive in. 
as I said this is meant to be a mix of makeup and skincare I really only own at this stage Colourpop eyeshadow palette so hopefully there's a lot of things in here that I don't have and hopefully that I will use if I don't use it I have my sister and my daughter who stay with me so I'm sure between the three of us everything will be put to good use so first thing here we have a Colourpop flat kabuki brush cool I did buy a set a while ago of the Colourpop brushes, the Stone Cold Fox brushes, which are really nice brushes. So I'm sure, hopefully, this one is just as good a quality. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, that is really nice and soft. Um, I think I'll get a lot of use out of this Kabuki brush. Hopefully it's good for blending out foundation. Um, I'm pretty slack at washing my brushes, so having another brush um, like this is always handy. That does feel really nice, and I like the gold colour, gold handle, and then more of a bronzy tone um, through the rest of the handle. Nice and soft, Colourpop F23, so that would be Face 23 Kabuki. So we're off to a great start so far. Okay, next thing here, we have a little four pan palette with some bubble wrap, of course. This is the On The Mango palette. I'm having a bit of trouble focusing here, but um, hopefully we'll get work through that as we go on well, as I get more experienced uh, this of course is my first video that will hopefully go up on YouTube so inside this on the mango palette we have just a four pan you could probably get a couple of looks out of this or use everything together and get a pretty good eye look now you have a like musty color which is pretty good transition shade in the crease um, darker brown here to um, darken up the outer corner really nice um, shimmer up here so yeah that's a pretty neat bit outside my comfort zone but I do think I will use this we will see these um it really the packaging does feel really good this is heavy duty plastic nice clasp nice sound it makes when you close it really like that this will be great for traveling so yep I'm happy with that next thing here we have a Colourpop Level Up Lengthening Mascara. I did have the Colourpop Act Natural Mascara. I'm not sure where I've put it. I'm going to use it a couple of times. Did like it. So, yep, really happy to have another mascara. I'm guessing the colour is, yep, on the back, bottom, black. That's good for me. I will use this. The packaging feels really nice. It's quite a heavy tube. Let's have a look at the brush. The wand. Yeah, looks like it'll be just up my alley, something that I would use. I'm looking forward to giving that a go. So, yeah, so far, so good. Next thing here, four three Later Haters Blemish Stickers. I mean, even at my age, we do get blemishes. I'm not sure if I've ever really used any of these, but if I don't use them, I do have a teenage daughter. And we know teenagers, they do get the odd blemish. Maybe she will use these, maybe not. They are really cute. They have some hearts, some stars, and I guess flowers. So I guess you put these on your blemish and say later to unwanted blemishes with these super cute stickers made with hydrocolloidal technology and designed to protect against blemish picking to reduce potential scarring. Use as needed to keep skin happy and smooth. Okay. Let's see. I'm not sure if I will use them, but hey, maybe I'll just decorate with them because they are cute stickers. Okay, next thing here, we have another four pan, another quad. SI You Baby. This is actually really cool. I have looked at this one on the Colourpop website when they've had sales on and been like, I do like purple eyeshadows, don't use it a lot, but I think it's pretty. And this has been one that I have thought about adding to cart just as a little extra. So I'm happy to have this. I'm really happy to have this. So we have a matte, a true matte, a matte with glitters and two really pretty shimmers up the top. This, as I said, I'm happy to have this. I've looked at this. I like it. Um, I think it's pretty. I'm going to use this. Hopefully that the colours stay true on the eye as they do in the pan because, yeah, this is pretty. This matte with shimmer, as I'm looking at it, it kind of has a blue reflect in it. Really pretty. Happy as with that. 
this has so far been a really good box right in here we have ooh, a super shock shadow i'm happy with this never don't have any of these haven't tried them but i've heard really good things about them apparently they're one of the best formulas or eyeshadows there are so yeah happy to be able to give it a try hopefully um i don't love it so much and it becomes a compulsive buying thing which i sometimes get into i buy things i like them i buy more i buy more kind of a bit like what colourpop has been to me for the last almost year um, i'm on their website nearly every day not buying every day but i've been buying a bit so this is kind of like a nice pearly colour and we'll give it a bit of swatch oh that is really buttery really nice can't see it too well on my hand but it's there really shimmery this is going to be a really nice you know um in a corner highlight can probably even use it as a highlight this is by the way the name of this is tassel the super shock shadow ultra glitter i do see some glitters in there but it was also really smooth this would probably make a really nice eyeshadow topper we'll see how it goes as being just a eyelid color on its own without being a topper but as i say that is really nice i'm happy to have that i will use that hopefully i don't become addicted to these super shock shadows we will see time will tell here's quite a big box quite a big bottle this is a fourth ray beauty jewet hydrating hyaluronic mist hydration booster i've got reasonably oily skin so i don't know whether i will use this i mean i'm going to give it a go um, hydration booster may be good after the shower i don't know what it is maybe you guys are the same too sometimes find when i've been in the water had a shower my skin feels a little bit dry um so that's usually when i moisturize so maybe i could use this this way after the shower um see-through bottle yep. there's not too much to say about that don't have a lot of fourth ray beauty never tried a hydration mist but um see how it goes and as i said if i don't use it someone else will okay four three beauty watermelon face polish never had a face polish but i like what it says on the side when life gives you melons okay i don't have big melons but um yeah watermelon i guess does it smell like watermelon watermelon is just like one of the real summer smells to me Oh, it does. Even through the seal, you can really smell that sort of fake, you know, imitation watermelon scent, which I don't mind. It can be a bit sweet, but um, yep, face polish. The, the routine, dispense a quarter-sized amount of polish into the palm, massage into damp skin using circular motions, avoiding the eye area. Rinse thoroughly, can be used every other day or as a weekly treatment. So yeah, I guess I'll try that in my skincare routine we'll try it why not quite excited about that looks good okay what do we got next the color pop fresh kiss lip lacquer this is interesting this is in the shade sidecar pretty packaging love the box just think it's yeah, it's nice let's have a look inside the box the good stuff's always inside the box okay wow it's a really red color i don't wear a lot of reds mainly because I've been too chicken to. I have actually been looking at reds lately and going, hey, now why not give it a go? You know, your midlife may as well. So now that I've got a red, I'll give it a go. Um, Colourpop must have heard me or thought of me and gone, you know, let's let's include it. Um, so yeah, no excuses now. We're going to dive in the deep end and try this red lip. Fresh kiss. Um, is it a stain or is it a full-on color lip lip lacquer i have no idea whether it's a stain or whether it's a liquid lip but we'll find out okay color pop by the bushel lippy scrub i do like a good lippy scrub um yeah so happy to have this i don't i'm running pretty low on one at the moment so this has come right at a good time once again nice packaging nice what feels like thick glass cute um yep so just a lippy scrub what does it smell like that's what we're all dying to know oh it kind of smells like candy very sweet but yeah that will get a lot of use between me and my daughter we both like a good lippy scrub 
Okay, next thing. I feel like this box just keeps on giving. We have a ColourPop Colour Sticks. And this is in the shade Coffee Shop. Okay. Not, I'm not sure what a Colour Sticks is. Is it for your eyes? Is it for your lips? Is it for both? If I can get into it. Uh, let me try the other end. Yep, nice little box. So, Colour Sticks. I'm guessing it's a dark brown. Have a look. Okay. Pretty, very creamy and very soft. I have broken the tip off it. Um, but I'm guessing you could probably use it either for your lips or for your eyes. Probably quite dark for your eyes. But um, be warned, they are soft. They break easy. Be gentle. But um, yeah, I'll use that. Hopefully I won't break it anymore. I'm picking it must be wind up. Yep, it is wind up. So even though the tip is broken, I can still use what's left in there. And we will see if it's for eyes or lips. Not actually sure where the tip went, but I'll find that later. Okay, next up we have Fourth Ray So Radiant Brightening Eye Cream. Now this I am really happy with. We all know at my age I need a lot of help with my skin, especially around my eyes. I need a new eye cream, the one I'm using at the moment. I'm not sure whether I have a slight reaction to it. It does give me a slight burning sensation. I'm very mild. I'm being a little bit dramatic with burning, but it doesn't quite feel right. So I've discontinued using it and just use my daily moisturizer. But I have been wanting to try a new eye cream, have been looking for one. So this is handy. As I say, I will use this. I'll give it a try. Hopefully it works. Doesn't give me any more of that sort of burning sensation. So so radiant brightening eye cream. It's kind of a nice yellow colour. Doesn't really smell too much like anything apart from your normal generic skincare. Um, yeah, feels really moisturising. Feels nice. As I say, been looking for an eye cream, so I will get a lot of use out of this. Okay, next thing, we have Colourpop Coco Loco, another lippy scrub. Okay, so we have a second lippy scrub. As I said, I use lip scrubs. My daughter uses lip scrubs. I'm sure my sister will even use them. So having two, that doesn't bother me. If anything, it's good because I know we will use it. Um, this looks like it might be Coco Loco. Hopefully it's coconut. I love the smell of coconut and vanilla. Probably my favourite scent. So if this is coconut. Mm, it is such a nice smell, so I'm happy with that. This one I'll probably claim for myself, and the others can get shares. Okay, looks like the last item here. We'll, we'll, um, ah, glad that this was at the bottom, that smart colour pot, because this has what everything is. I was going to see if it showed what the colour sticks was, but it just still says colour sticks coffee shop. And at the very bottom, you deserve a star. I got a star. Thanks, Colourpop. Right, now the last thing here. This looks like a palette. It is plush like me. This is really pretty. This packaging is really plush. Um, really nice texture embossing on it. So let's dive in and have a look. This is the cover. Sort of a velvety feel on the cover. Once again, this packaging is just... For the price of Colourpop, like it's amazing that there's just sort of no expense here, you know, good formulas, really nice packaging. So it definitely does feel like it's more higher priced than what it actually is. So on the inside we have 12 shades. This is a really pretty palette. I do like this. I do think I will use this. Um, having the mirror too is just an added bonus. But um, I do like these pinks, these sort of dark browns that you can smoke it out. We have... Sadly counting. Eight matte and four shimmers. The shimmers are really pretty, so I'm happy with that. A good range of lights to mediums and then a couple of deeper shades, even a deeper sort of shimmer there. So this is a really pretty palette. I feel like probably saved the best for last, um, being down the bottom. So I love Colourpop eyeshadows. I'm sure a lot of you do. So that is everything in this mystery box. So just to recap what we've got, of course, we've got the blush, plush like me palette. 
we've got the watermelon face polish by Fourth Ray. We've got the So Radiant Thigh Cream, the Coco Loco Lip Mask, the Colourpop Super Shock Shadow, which I was really excited about too, the Lip Lacquer, the Hydrating Face Mist, the Colour Sticks, the SIU Quad, the On the Mango Quad, the By the Bushel Lippy Scrub, the Later Hater, the uh, Glimmerish Stickers, and the Kabuki Brush. So that's meant to be 14 items. And oh, I also forgot the Bevel Up Lengthening Mascara. I think that that is everything. So we have three, seven makeup products, one makeup utensil, well, not utensil, but brush. And then we have six six skincare face and skincare products which it's a good even spread between makeup and skincare nice and even do i think this this mystery box is worth it yes i do am i happy with it yes i do not think there's too much in here i won't get use out of and of course I also have the Coast to Coral, which wasn't included in the mystery box, but I am excited to use that. I'm excited to use a lot of this stuff. I'm really happy with this. Once again, Colourpop um, have come to the party. I probably will buy more mystery boxes now. This is the first one I've ever bought of any brand. Something a bit fun, a bit different. Hey man, I've got the mystery box hype. I'm pumped for it. I'm excited. I'm happy. And... Uh, yeah, that's probably enough said. So thanks for watching and uh, I'll look forward to seeing you in the next one. Next one. Bye.